Just I won't feed let you me. do that. Feed me and keep me up there, Chef Tony. Welcome into Late Night on QVC, everybody. Nice to have you. A two-hour uh, Cooking on Q show featuring today's special value at the top. And then a lot of really low-priced, great gadgets that... Uh, I've not done these shows in a while. It's really fun to be back in the kitchen and to show some of these things off. Here's another thing that we're doing. We did it with the silicone earlier, uh, Chef Tony, maximizing the microwave, maximizing the use of an appliance. That 90, I read one time, 98% of Americans have a microwave oven, Correct. and most people reheat their coffee with it. That's it, or a slice of pizza. Or a what slice this of pizza. Is, this is actually a crisping dish. A crisping so dish. It actually heats up. Which is just an anomaly when you think about microwave. The last thing you think about is crisping. That is correct. Until so I'm now. gonna take the bacon, I'm gonna place this on here, and you can actually crisp real live foods. You hear that sizzle starting? Take here comes the out. sizzle. Come on, baby, separate from me. We'll do this, we'll place this here. We'll place one more on top. And this is gonna go in the microwave and in four minutes you're gonna have perfectly cooked bacon. It's done at microwave speed, but you get conventional results and that's the thing that I like about it. It's the 11 inch microwave crisping dish. Correct. There's no reorder available on this item. And if you're wondering, uh, I can't, if you're gonna be able to remember all the ideas that Chef Tony is telling you, no need to worry, because you got a little cookbook. Now it's not a 40 page cookbook here, but you got some recipes and ideas on how to use your microwave crisping dish. $17.50, you already have it, uh, want to give us a buzz. If not, what is the premise behind this? Well, what is really this made of that allows you to put this thing into a microwave? Because mm -hmm. you hear about metal, you're not supposed to put it into a microwave. How is this actually crisping? Well, let me just grab this one real quick so I can show everybody. If you look on the back, you'll see this beautiful material here. This is what's actually heating up in the microwave. And this special material heats up the metal pan. But as you can see, it's like a rubberized material. It keeps the metal off the base of the pans or the sides of your microwave. So you're not going to get arcing. That heats up. It's kind of like putting this on an electric or gas stove. Now your pan gets hot and you're cooking with the heat of the pan and the microwaves both together. That's why you get such great conventional results. Okay, okay, there you go. So we place so this here. that's how it starts. Do you heat it up first? In certain ways, like what I did with the bacon, yes. You want to, if you're doing meats and you want to grill or sandwiches, then preheat it between one and two minutes, and that's also explained in the booklet, because it depends on what your watt on your microwave is. Now, we just heard a beep. Yeah, I'm gonna be taking that out, but I want to show this. Here this is in honor of my mom. Every time she made pasta, she would actually cook this in a cast iron pan and fry it the next day. And we'd, it would be crispy like a pizza Is on the outside. Right? Yeah, I'm just gonna take this Is out. Is that right? Yeah, look at this. There's a spaghetti pie that is absolutely perfect on the bottom. This is your Italian mom. This is my mom's dish. She She's made done the this. She pasta and then she fried. She and she, put it well, in if it was left over, she put it in a cast iron pot and pan fry it. So the bottom of it got crispy like a pizza. Yeah. And then she put the toppings on top, maybe hit it with a little breadcrumbs. Huh. But I just want to show this to everybody. Look at the pan. You'll see the grease and oil on here. And this is one of my favorite things. I'm just going to go right through the center. It is so easy to clean. Dishwasher safe on the top rack. And you can basically cook anything that you want in here. Let me take a look in this Anything one. Anything you want, and we're going to find out about that. This right one here. is one of my favorites. So, you know, chicken palm in a microwave, you would think it's going to be all kind of like dry or gray, but you got to see this for yourself. Now, is this a reheat? No, this is cooked from scratch. This is from scratch? This is from scratch. We breaded it up, placed it on the inside, cooked them first for about 12 minutes, and then we placed on the cheese and the sauce and everything. And I'm going to lift this up, cheese and all. I just want to, can you see that? Can you well, see look how, at that. I mean, I can literally move the cheese. So Nothing from, sticks. From, 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 from raw chicken. Correct. To done, it was 12 minutes? 12 minutes plus the top, about 14 minute cook in total. Because Jeez. we then put the sauce and the cheese on top. But can you smell that? Yeah. I mean, it smells like it was cooked in an oven. Because now you're taking your microwave and you're and turning it in. And it's got the crispiness of it. Oh, absolutely. Look at the bottom of that. Look, let me just take this here. Take I mean, a look the at the cheese. the looks 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 you know, crisp. Look at the crispiness on the cheese. That gives you the whole story right there. So again, the base gets hot, heats the pan, and it cooks like a conventional oven or a conventional skillet right in your microwave. And you get perfect results. And again, the cleanup is absolutely a cinch. Let me take my frittata that we did earlier. This is one of the things I love it for. A couple of eggs and some vegetables. I put sausage and veggies in first, saute it for about two minutes. Then I throw the eggs on top with a little bit of cheese, another two minutes, and you're gonna come out with a beautiful frittata that looks just like that. A microwave frittata. Absolutely. So the key is when I first get it at home, right? Yes. Go through some instructions and what's the most popular thing that people use that for? Absolutely, eggs, eggs, sandwiches. In fact, I think somewhere in here, yes, I love this. Great for Sammy's. 
You're making a sandwich and you want a nice crispy bacon and cheese or, or a grilled cheese sandwich. Let me just lift this up. I just want to show everybody, look at the back side of that. Look at how beautifully brown that is. And friends, this is in a microwave. So you're gonna get perfect results every single time. So whether you're doing sandwiches or frying a couple of eggs, making bake breakfast in the morning with bacon, or you can do full cooks. You can actually load this up with your favorite type of shrimp and vegetables and do a stir fry with it. Yeah. So I just heard this one stop. Let's take this out. You remember the shrimp that I put in here? I do. This is three and a half minutes, so Ooh. you can see it live. You gotta just see this, and I don't know if I have, yeah, I do. Let me grab this here, because I have to lift the shrimp up. I wanna show you something. Mm -hmm. Normally in a microwave, these are like hockey pucks. They're dried out, they're hard, they're crusty, but I just want you to see the juice. Look at the flavors that are still inside that shrimp. So you can get a nice browning with it, you can cook from scratch, or you can do leftovers. People love this for like, um, your, your fried foods like onion rings and, and uh, chicken wings yeah. and ribs. You only got 30 seconds left. We all want to find out what that thing is over there. What'd you do on that thing? What, that one there? Let yeah. me take my bacon Here out. Here comes the bacon. I just have to show that because this Sizzling is almost bacon. done. This is monkey bread. So we took some cinnamon buns, we rolled them up into circles, popped it inside, Can we just eat it. that now, everybody? Doesn't that look good? Who cares about calories when you have something like that? Once we took it out of the oven, we just added some raisins and nuts, put some dollops of whipped cream on top. Absolutely gorgeous, served right in the pan. 30 seconds, I've never seen this before. What'd you bring us, Tony? I brought you a microwave crisper that's made in Ireland, been here for many years, believe it or not, in different configurations. Simple to use, easy to clean, anything from grilling sandwiches to making full-blown meals. No reorder on this. If you want to pick it up now, you can. K40239. Hey, Tony also brought us these other guys. Those, these are great, by the way. These customer top rated little peel.